That's the 13 of David Starr. Huge damage for Noah Gregson. All right, it is 12.06 a.m. Sounds like the perfect time to look at a predictions video. I have not watched this since making it, so I have no idea if I'm even close on anything. So let's find out together. First prediction for trucks. John Hunter Nemechek will win four times. You are correct. Wow. Um, I mean, it's correct. Five times is greater than four times, but he still won four times. Just he won an extra race after that. So it's technically true. Um, I'm surprised he only got five. He didn't win once in the chase. That's, that's offensive. That just god-awful pit call. What were they thinking to pit at the end of stage one in the fucking championship race? That's the fucking reason that Ben Cox sucking ass Rhodes is a fucking truck champion. Fucking dead series. Prediction number two. Chandler Smith will win three times. No, that's incorrect. This is technically correct because he should have won Knoxville. He did win Knoxville on about eight different restarts, but NASCAR deemed the, the second to last restart where he was only like one inch behind Austin Hill at the time of the caution as him not being in the lead anymore. So that's really cool. Really, really cool. Should be three. Prediction number three. Austin Terrio will return to the driver's seat. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, speaking of dead series, I can't believe that Austin Terrio is sitting on his fucking ass. Meanwhile, all these goddamn losers in the, in the trucks and Xfinity series are just putt-putting around on a weekly basis. It's awful. NASCAR is a joke because of it. Prediction number four. For the third straight year, Brett Moffitt will score the most points on the season and still not win the championship. Oh, regrettably, no. I think all of us expected Nice to perform better. What I did not expect was for him to change his points. It, it, it's probably, it was probably for the best, but like Moffitt was absolutely irrelevant all year after changing his points. He, he, was, he, finished, he, fin he starts the year off finishing second at Daytona. Then he basically had a winning car at Homestead. And then he switches his points, and then he's never even like mentioned again on a single broadcast. He's not relevant again until like, what, September? I don't even know, dude. The most relevant he was all year was in the Knoxville truck race. Fuck that race, by the way. And prediction number five, Haley Deegan will win, yes, win at Knoxville. Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. She actually did better in the Bristol dirt race, which is interesting. Haley had an awful season. There's no two ways about it, but like there was no practice all goddamn year, and she's a pretty much a true rookie in the series. I'm going to let it slide this year, but we're supposed to have practice next season. So if she has an equally abysmal season in 2022, then it's time to get concerned. But I am not concerned yet. Now for the Leech series. Woo! Prediction number one. Landon Castle will make the chase. Ooh, no, sorry. Good God, JD Motorsports sucked this year. I am floored by the absolute nosedive in performance from this team. It it was pathetic. Castle had like a stretch of eight straight races where he had a mechanical DNF. And it wasn't even like start and parking. He literally like would have a, he would stop on the track and there would be a caution because the car was a piece of shit. So, I mean, I expected it to not suck that much. <laughs> I thought he would outperform Chastain's, like, whatever year Chastain made the chase, his numbers. Yeah, very sad. Prediction number two. Riley Herbst will win no races, but he will make the final four at Phoenix. No, that's incorrect. I was almost correct about this one. <laughs> I mean, 
He had, I, I just looked at the Xfinity point standings because I wanted to laugh at the giraffe for losing. And he had the worst average finish out of anyone in the chase. This includes Jeremy Clements. In the car that should have won the championship this year, nine win season, he steps into this car and puts up the worst average finish in a 12 car chase. Oh my god, dude. Just embarrassing. <laughs> and he's going to come back next year. He's probably going to get an upgrade. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure he's going to be in the 38 car in the Cup Series now. Yeah. God help the Cup Series next year if that's the case. Good lord. Prediction number three. Ryan Sieg will win in his brand new Ford. Good answer, but sorry. That's wrong. I did not expect Sieg's team to suck as bad as it did this year. They were on such a good upswing from 2019 and 2020. Like, they were basically, like, just barreling in the direction of being, like, a, not even just a chase contender, but, like, a Final Four contender team. And it all just completely face-planted this season. And I don't, I don't know what it was. It's Roush Yates Engines is what it says here. It, I don't know, dude. It, if it's just growing pains and, like, it's going to be better next year, I don't know. Apparently, they're getting a Stuart Haas Racing alliance next year. If they didn't already have a Stuart Haas Racing alliance, what in God's name did they switch to Ford for? But, like, yeah, it's... It was it was really bad. Really, really bad season for C. Prediction number four. Harrison Burton will win six races. Oh, regrettably, no. He should have. He should have won at least four or five races this year. Gibbs tanked their entire team in favor of the 54. The fucking 54 car wins nine goddamn races, and you're telling me that everyone else on the team who's winning zero races is getting the same equipment. You're telling me that Harrison Burton, four wins last season, is getting the same equipment as this 54 car that's winning every single race. It's, it's like, I mean, I understand. It's Joe Gibbs' grandson. Of course they're going to tank the entire team for him, which is, which is good. I mean, you know, Gibbs will win nine races last year and probably miss the final four. And all will be normal in the world again, but you know, you know how it is. Um, yeah, Harrison is going to be fine in the Cup Series. I, well, you know, I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to be fine in the Cup Series because those cars are fucking stupid. And, um, yeah. Moving on. And prediction number five, Daniel Hemrick will do a backflip after winning an Xfinity race. That's it, exactly. And he did a backflip after winning the championship. By the way, um, when I said that, that Gibbs was tanking the entire team, I, 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 I honestly would include Hemrick's team in that, at least until the chase started, because Hemrick really wasn't you know, contending for wins so much so, besides fucking races that Kyle Busch was in. You know, should have won Road America, should have won, just should have won Atlanta. Should have, should have won Martinsville, should have won, uh, what was that track? Texas? Either Texas or Kansas, whatever. The point is, is that Hemrick should have around, you know, eight wins at this point. <laughs> He's got one, though. <laughs> Maybe he'll finally be able to be the guy who breaks Collie into a normal victory lane that's not a road course or a uh, plate track. It's a, it, I, I find it astounding that A.J. Allmendinger, of all people, is the one that's winning on mile and a half tracks. He won at fucking Bristol. Insanity. Literal insanity. <laughs> insanity. And now for Cup. Prediction number one. Kevin Harvick will win nine races again. Ooh, no, sorry. Hooray! Finally! Harvick didn't win! Hallelujah! 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 Harvick is a bitch! Pretty 
prediction number two. Someone not named Chase Elliott will win a road course race. That's right. This was very much obviously my uh, free space. I was not going to get literally every single prediction wrong like last year. Um, yeah. Um, I think I think it's very clear to basically everyone with a functioning, you know, frontal lobe that the only reason that Elliot is as good as he is at road courses is because of the Hendrick Road Course program. And Larson has shoved his dick in the dirt every single race, basically. Should have won Circuit of the Americas. And I didn't watch Road America, but I'm sure he didn't deserve to win that one either. So, yeah. Good shit. Prediction number three. Eric Jones will finish higher in points than Ross Chastain. I actually have to look this one up. Hang on. Okay, so... Eric finished 24th. And about... Is that 80... 88? 78, 88, somewhere. About a full race behind Ch Chastain in points. I mean, Kurt Busch clearly outperformed Chastain all season. And, like, that was a given. But, like, if you take a closer look at the stats, it's really not even that... Not even that bad of a comparison. Eric got six top tens versus Chastain's eight top tens. Um, Eric also had a 19.7 average finish versus Chastain's 18.6 and since basically every race this season was you know lottery qualifying Chastain had a much better average starting spot with 19.8 versus 22.7 for Eric so Eric was basically doing more work every single race um so it's still wrong but it's like you know not that wrong I think it was a pretty good call I think it was an all right call. Prediction number four. Another cup driver will miss a race for testing positive for the plague. Yes, indeed. This one was like another free space, basically. <laughs> um, the first one was Justin Haley, because while he's an Xfinity driver, he ran, I don't know, like 25 cup races this year. And he's probably still going to be, you know, counting. He, he's like, he's run like upwards of 20 cup races for like the last two seasons every year. And he's probably still going to get to run for rookie of the year next season because, you know, everything, just nothing matters anymore. Words don't mean anything anymore. It, it doesn't matter. But the point is, is that he, he was a, he was a, you know, cup series, you know, regular. Not in name, but like literally he was in the cup series on a regular basis. But, um, Corey LaJoy also tested positive at one point, I think. So, I don't know what kind of... <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the Spire driver meetings. Social distancing is not what's going on <laughs> in the Spire driver meetings. <laughs> yeah. Prediction number five. Kyle Larson will finally win at Homestead. Prediction number six. William Byron will win three races. No, I'm sorry. Homestead feels like years ago because Byron took the win and it was like, oh my god, my prediction about Byron being an absolute G is going to come true. <laughs> and of course, he should have won about six races this season. Garbage ass races, garbage ass predictable bullshit. Um,. Yeah, I mean, Larson didn't win Homestead, so the answer's wrong, but Byron should have won at least half of the races that Larson's did. Prediction number seven. There will be 13 different winners and two first-time winners. Uh, how correct was this? Let's find out. Yeah, McDowell, Bell, and Bubba is three, so technically correct like the uh, Nemechek one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen different winners. Is that the most? No, sixteen different winners if you include Almendinger. Holy shit. Is that like the most? That has to be like the most different winners since like a long time. That's crazy. 
Wow. It's still technically correct, though, so give myself that point. Hell yeah, I'm a genius. Prediction number eight. Christopher Bell will win the Bristol Dirt Race. Ooh, no, sorry. The Bristol Dirt Race was a piece of shit that should have never happened. And of course it's happening again next year, so I'm sure it'll be even worse. I'm sure they will not learn anything from what happened in that absolute shit fest of a race. And it'll probably be even worse, so can't wait for that. Um, Bell did not win, unfortunately. But yeah, whatever. I don't care. And prediction number nine, Chase Briscoe will win somewhere. Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. Did he win a segment in the uh, in the All Star race, or All Star Open, or whatever? I don't know, dude. Briscoe was kind of shit to start, and then he picked it up a lot, and then he probably should have won the Indianapolis Road Course before two drivers pushed him off the track, and then NASCAR penalized him for that for some reason. Then he dumped Hamlin from the lead, which is a common theme. Common theme is Hamlin getting dumped from the lead in 2021. Yeah. Sucks. I really think he could have won Indianapolis if bullshit hadn't happened, but that track... Well, I mean, Almendinger won that, so that's nice, but... Yeah. I don't know, dude. And the final prediction was I had Elliott winning the Daytona 500. I was almost smack dab on, but... Then they threw the caution at the perfect time to, to give McDowell the win, which is, you know, amazing. That's without a doubt, like, the best thing that happened in all of 2021 was um, McDowell winning the Daytona 500. So, yeah, but I was extremely close. This is the closest I've ever been to getting the Daytona 500 winner correct. So, yeah. All in all, I don't know what the score was. I wasn't keeping track while recording, but, you know, it was better than last year. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's a solid video that you give me around, you know. I'd say probably, you know, a thousand views if I'm lucky. So, hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Thanks for the views. We'll see you when I predict 2022, which I'm sure is going to suck a lot. I am I should do this for, like, IndyCar and F1. That's what I should do. I think I'm going to do that. Don't let me forget to do that. Thanks for watching. Bye.